right, rest up a little bit, so we're gonna go get some dinner at the Mission District and then check out a couple cool sights and get our cool sunset in. All right, made to the Mission District. We're here on Val uh, Valencia and 18th Street, and matter of fact, I'm gonna be eating at uh, uh, at the uh, Taqueria El Bu Buen Sabor for some dinner. And matter of fact, I'll cover that in a Trial of the Lights videos. Fair, better go there now because it's already starting to line up. So I'm gonna get some food and walk around the Mission District just for a little bit. I'm glad I went when I did. But that, that I ordered a Mission Style Burrito there and oh, it was so good. I love Chipotle and the Mission Style Burrito inside there is better than Chipotle. All right, so I'm gonna walk around on, on Valencia just a little bit. Get out of the sun a little bit. Yeah, nice little area. A lot of people out and about right now. We'll walk down that way a little ways. Pretty cool. Ed. This is considered a, well, this is called a Clarion Alley. We've got some street art in here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this looks really, really well done. <clears throat> huh. I think it's supposed to be Cheech and Chong. Yeah, probably would not want to come down here at night, but during the daytime, this looks really neat. Definitely off the beaten path here. Well, sort of. A lot of people are down here, too. I gotta say, this is really cool. I'm glad it came down here. It's like, whether you call it just murals, graffiti, or street art, it's definitely more than just pronouncing tomato or tomato. Yeah, when you're here in the Mission District, uh, definitely uh, check this out. There's some really cool murals. But yeah, it's like people can find many different ways to express themselves, whether it's, whether, <laughs> whether it's but by paying some street art, or it could be by the clothes you wear, the th th things you say, or some people may choose not to say anything at all. Oh yeah, if you do decide to go down go down there, yeah, oh, yes. well I said earlier, yeah, I would only go down there during the day. Fortunately, there is a police station nearby, so it's, so you should be okay. But as always, always watch your backside. That was pretty cool. All right, I need to find a good spot to get another Uber because I want to go to Tank Hill. I want to get some great views of the city. I just got an Uber from the Mission District over to Tank Hill. Let's just go up to the top. We should get some great views of the whole area. Now we made it to the top of Tank Hill and although where people go to Twin Peaks, which is a little bit higher, oh, and it's over that way. But from what I have read, Tank Hill is more of a is more of a hidden gem because as you can tell, not many people are here. Man, look at the views. It's look at this. It's really beautiful. I'm about to get my camera, out my main camera, and I'm going to show more of the city.
Max to make it a little bit less breezy so that way I can talk briefly here. So yeah, in case you couldn't hear me earlier when I was standing over there, but yeah, compared to Twin Peaks, this is, yeah, again, more of a hidden gem to where currently I'm one of like three people here right now. So instead of hearing people speaking and everything like that, I'm hearing the breeze. With vistas like this, this is what you're supposed to hear, my friends. This is easy, one of the best views of all of San Francisco. Although you can't see Alcatraz or the Bay Bridge, and due to the moisture coming from the Pacific Ocean, you can't see the top of the Golden Gate Bridge very well, but you can barely see a layout. And then yeah, all those trees over there, that's Golden Gate Park. That's where I was yesterday, and that's why my feet are so sore today. <laughs> Luckily today I've been relying more on Uber to get around so that way I can rest my feet a little bit. Speaking of Uber, I'm gonna get ready to climb back down and I'm gonna head over to Marshall's Beach. So I'm going all the way over to the west side of the uh, the uh, the the Presidio. I I went to the Presidio back in 2015. I almost was gonna go there again this time. But I was like, wait a minute, I've already been there. I want to go to some new places. I think I made the right choice. Yes, I put my jacket back on because I'm back toward the coast and I'm staying here until kind of like around sunset like I did yesterday. So I need to warm myself up, but yep, made over to the Golden Gate Overlook and then I'm also gonna go down to Marshall's Beach, which is over that way. But yeah, I haven't really shown much of the Golden Gate Bridge in these videos. And if I had a rental car, I'd love to go back over to the, to the Marin Headlands. Like I could probably could Uber, Uber over there, but not sure how good of cell signal I have over there. But check out the views though. Yeah, see some of the see some of the like the abandoned like concrete barriers. They're not barriers or walls. Uh, there are quite a few areas along in here that used to be batteries. Like back back when the Presidio was a was a U.S. military post, uh, there are many batteries all throughout here, which held many guns, basically to uh, to defend the coastline. Wasn't sure what they were at first, and that I checked out that sign. I was like, "Oh yeah, now it makes sense. now it makes sense." All right, to go to Marshall's Beach, we're gonna take that trail all the way over there, the other side of the parking lot. All right, I made it to Marshall's Beach, and wow, this is beautiful. You get a great view of the bridge from over here. So I know there's also Baker Beach to the south, another great view, but I heard about this area from by watching photographer uh, Brendan Vanson as he was over in San Francisco earlier this year, and he found some really great views of the Golden Gate Bridge from over here at Marshall's Beach. And just look at, look at the waves crashing out of the the coast like that. This is incredible. But yeah, I can go all the way down there too, but it's a little too rugged.
Yeah, this spot is like a photographer's paradise. Look, look, look at all the waves crashing on the shore. We got the bridge and of course the sunset. Sun shining on the bridge. This is just a serene spot. <laughs> I decided to stay a little longer just because it was too peaceful. Yeah, the clouds are kind of on part of the horizon, so it's kind of blurring out a little bit of the sunset. So, here's a good time to start making the way back. But yeah, special thanks again to, 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 uh, to a Brandon Vanson for, for his video on Marshall's Beach where he was filming the Golden Gate Bridge and I'm taking some a lot of pictures as well. Thanks to him, yeah, when I've even th thought of coming to Marshall's Beach and with that, probably got one of the best sunsets I've ever seen in my entire life. But yeah, so glad I made the trip out here. But yeah, today's been a very exciting day. Muir Woods, Sausalito, Take the ferry back to the ferry building in San Francisco. Walk a little bit around the Mission District. Tank Hill and then finish off here. See the Golden Gate Bridge off in the distance. All right, once I get back up to that parking lot, I'm going to call an Uber and head back to the hotel for the night. And back at the hotel, so. Oh, what a great day today. I fly back on Monday and tomorrow is Sunday, so I got one more full day of some excitement. And tomorrow I'm going to be going across the bay to Oakland. So it should be pretty exciting. So if you enjoyed this video, definitely give this video a like or a thumbs up. For more Scamini 95 travel videos, definitely click that subscribe button. Well, thank you for watching today's vlog here around Tank Hill, a little bit of the Mission District, and Marshall's Beach, and this is Scott sending out.